So I was sitting in my garden looking at my peppers that I have done a ton of research and couldn't find anything at all online about what might be the problem with them. So I joined a home gardening page on Facebook and I got my answer almost immediately. So what I have determined and after I found out what it might be, I did some more research and then found all kinds of information is a uh, broad mite and they are teeny tiny little microscopic mites that um, just basically suck the life out of your plants and you can't see them with the naked eye but this is uh, the kind of curl that they cause in the leaf and they're just like kind of like an aphid they suck the juice out of the plants and uh, there's just you know thousands and thousands of them on this leaf and they're so tiny and this is what they do to the peppers as well so so what I have to do I'm just gonna pull them out and they say they don't they don't handle heat well so I think I'm just going to burn them and uh, yeah hopefully they don't come back I've never didn't read anything about uh, um, if they're going to be in the soil next year or anything. I couldn't find anything about that kind of information. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to pull these out and I don't know, hope I don't get them next year, I guess. Yeah, I can really see the damage to the leaf, how they're curled down under like that. And then, yeah large pepper down there. You know, the thing that irritates me the most is that these were peppers that we bought. Like all the peppers I grew from seed are fine. The ones that we bought from the nursery are the ones that have it. And that's very, very frustrating. So these are all out. I made sure I got all the little Oops, I can't get them all, I guess. Little pieces of stems and leaves out that I could get. And uh, I think I'm just going to pull out these peppers as well. Um, Jeff and I aren't big fans of the banana peppers anyway. So we've mostly just been giving them away. But I sort of can see a little bit of the curl starting on these. So just to be safe, I'm just going to pull them out and... No more peppers for this year, unfortunately. This is very hard for me and anybody that's got a garden to just, you know, throw your stuff away. It's sad. Oh, garlic has been hanging out here a little longer than it should be, so I'm going to finally get it into the into the shop. Maybe I'll do it out here and get it all ready to put in storage. Yeah, not not quite as nice as last year, but boy, boy, that's nice garlic either way. Last year, I think everything was a, a little bit exceptional for some reason. Weather or whatever. But yeah, these are going to be... These are going to be fantastic in whatever I cook. That's this one not cutting there. Cut off the roots, clean off the dirty paper, and they're ready to store. There's 
the garlic. Finally, after what, three years have I had this thing? I've used it twice. I decided it's time to get out some venison roast. So I've got out my big Dutch oven that Jeff got me for Christmas a few years back. And uh, I've got a fire going with some coals ready to go. I am definitely no expert with this thing, but now we need to do this and get some coals. Oh, those are nice. Lots of coals on the bottom. in there before this gets too hot I have to find my hammer I've got venison roast a little bit of oil two venison roast onions um, garlic tomato one package of Lipton onion soup mix and um, yeah salt and pepper pretty simple pretty delicious Set them on top. So it's been a couple hours. We had to put this heat shield up because it got way too hot and it actually burned the onions. It dried up and it burned the onions in the bottom of the pot. So I had to take everything out. Like they were burnt, charcoal burnt. <laughs> so we added this screen and uh, I added more water, redid the whole thing. And I'm just gonna check it now and see what it looks like. Hopefully it's better. Tasty. Looks good. It sure it oh, smells good. Look how toasted the, that's getting on the top. Mm -hmm. eh? That's going to be delicious. I don't think they're going to add too much more to the top. No, I don't think so. I think that's probably pretty good. I'll add a couple a little bit. You add more wood to keep that fire going, or you got enough? I don't know. It's like, I don't know. What'd you get? We've got a hay bale blind from Cabela's. Hay bale blind. Where's the instructions? <laughs> Over in, inside the bag. Hold them up. Yep. They're in their own handy little oh, camo a, bag too. Fiberglass thing. Too. Oh, what's in the bottom here too then? Oh, probably tags. It's got this nice sanded pocket. Yeah, those are pegs. Which we don't need on the deck. Hey, careful! Oh yeah, gotta do it away from your eyes. Oh, it's pretty big. No. It's not real big. Okay. Two. Well, is that not a P2 then? Yes, you have four of them. Doesn't seem like a P2. Maybe there's the other. 
Are they supposed to go diagonal like that? Yep. Make an X. Oh, and then they okay. tie in the middle there? Somehow. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess that's how it makes they gotta it round. they got to go out to make it round, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, probably, eh? I think so. I don't think we're going to do that, though. Are you sure it goes in there? Holy. Yeah, I got it. So there is the veil blind that Jeff just got from Cabela's. It doesn't really look like a veil of straw, but it's got the right idea. And inside. Two chairs in it. It's actually it's pretty not, roomy. Not bad. Inside here. Zip up the door. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the mesh top. So this is for goose hunting. It's the goose hunting blind. I guess you could use it as deer hunting blind too, but it's a little, well, maybe. Well, it won't protect you from the weather at all, that's for sure. No. No. What are you doing? Back windows as well, chasing bugs, I'm sure. Yeah. Velcro. But yeah, the idea is you can see your, see your geese coming. Right, and you, you're gonna land into your decoys, and you just grab this. You got that? Yep. Boom, Shoot. boom. Just like that. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that works pretty good. It uh, was a little complicated to figure out because the instructions are not great. White poles, diagonal from corner to corner. The P2s, and do that on the back as well. And then this one, this is going to get tied in here as well. And that holds it out so it looks nice and round. And we've got one pole here. That's an individual one that holds the top in place. The P3s are in, oh, they're all in, in the front here. In the front. So they're, oh, they're holding this. Yeah, it's not bad. No. And it comes I think it was comes with anchors and pegs and ropes and to hold it down just like a tent. Yeah. A bag for the and poles this, and a bag for the And this odd zipper. Unit. Yeah, that's pretty strange. We're not sure what that is supposed to be for. I don't know if maybe if you have one in a heater and you put a oh, hose maybe. out. Oh, maybe. Put the hose outside. out. But I wouldn't want a heater in here, holy. This thing is melt. Maybe. But anyway, that's it. We're going to go out and have a look from the outside. Cheers. Take it out to the yard. I'll receive it down at the bottom. I guess if you were in bales, it'd be good. Yeah. I've been fiddling around with this off and on, keeping it, keeping it going. So we got a nice little simmer going. So it looks like everything's pretty good. So we're going to actually take a look at it and see if we're almost done. Ooh, that looks fantastic. Grab the tongs here. I think we're pretty close. That looks so fantastic. Okay, this roast has been on here probably four hours now. 
So, time. Oh, that looks so good. Where did... Um... <laughs> okay. Jeff has put stuff away. Oh my goodness, this looks so fantastic. Dang. To make it there too. <laughs> eh. Holy. Oh, that's the way we want. Little fall apart. -y. I'll grab the milk bag. Thank you. Oh. And the gravy. That's really thick. <laughs> then some roast, mashed potatoes, vegetables. It is thick gravy, holy. <laughs> is it too thick? No. Is there such Not a thing? Not too thick. Such a thing? Yes, there is such a thing. Actually. Do you want horseradish or anything? No. Me either. I think I'm just going to eat it as it is. Butter on those weird veggies. <laughs> oh, that is good gravy. I like putting tomatoes in gravy. I don't know if you like it. Not particularly. Oh. Well, just a little bit in there. Just that part of the tomato, that. That was left over. Mmm.